So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Spec Presidio 2 Pro for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, this is not the Presidio Grip, which is a more grippy kind of case. It's more smooth. So let's take a look at the box. Now, it does say it's built for MagSafe, and this does have that click lock, no slip interlock mechanism. So basically, and we have an accessory to show that with, there is like a little slot right here that you can attach your MagSafe accessories to and it'll lock it into place right there so it doesn't slide back and forth. But let's continue around the box. Now again, this is for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It is built for MagSafe with a 13 foot drop testing. We're not about to test that, but this is rated for 13 feet of drop protection. It does have that click lock like we just talked about. Raised camera bezel, Presidio 2 armor cloud on drops, raised bezel to protect your screen, and a soft touch finish as well as an antimicrobial finish. Now, bunch of information on the back, you do get a little bit of a lifetime warranty and you can scan this to learn about the click lock. But very simple packaging, all you gotta do to take this out is just pull this back and the case pops right out, nothing else in here and you do get a little bit of information right there on how click lock works. Basically, you can get a wallet, a vent mount, or a stand. Now, I do have the wallet here that we're going to be taking a look at, and it clicks in to the bottom so it doesn't, you know, slip or anything like that. So, nothing else with the packaging. Let's set that to the side. And here we have the case. So, starting off with the back of the case, it does have this very smooth feeling. Now, it is a harder type of plastic material. You can hear that, but it has the touch of silicone. So it definitely feels really nice in the hands. However, I have noticed that this material is a bit slippery and that's something that we'll get to. Now, here is your click lock mechanism and we'll talk about that shortly and do get a little bit of spec branding right there. Now this is the charcoal color with the gold accents. This does come in a bunch of different colors. You've got your black and gray, bleached bone and gold, Charcoal Bronze, Dahlia Pink and Copper, Blue Purple, New Planet Tan, Pink Dahlia Pink, and Lilac with Carnation Petal. Now, they got a whole bunch of different kinds of names, but you can pretty much find whatever color you're looking for with this case. It comes in a variety of different colors. Now, I did go for the charcoal with the gold or copper accents. I like the way that this looks a lot, but let's move on to the inside. Now, on the inside, you get this kind of same color that your edges are, so that's pretty cool, that nice little touch that they have there. You have your MagSafe ring as well as the alignment magnet little bit of spec branding. This has kind of like a plasticky material on the inside here and the MagSafe is a little bit recessed in there kind of if you can see, just a hair recessed. But nice plasticky finish in here and going around the sides you have these grooves that are all made there for your shock protection. You can see it's all the way around the case and even in between the cutouts and everything like that you got this shock absorption material in here which is really nice for that 13 feet of drop protection. Now, let's go ahead and take our Black Titanium 15 Pro Max. We'll slap it in here and let's listen for that click. Very nice click onto the case. So let's check out how those corners are and then we'll talk about the fit. So, oh, before we do that, actually, let's go ahead and weigh this one. I keep forgetting to always weigh it. So <laughs> before we actually put it on, let's take it and weigh it here. So we've got our scale right there, set that down and we're talking about 47 grams. So not too heavy, not on the heavier side, pretty nice weight to it, not too light, but not too heavy. So let's set the scale to the side. We'll get our phone back in there real quick and let's step around the corners. Now, should be a nice click on these corners. One, camera corner. Oh, let's try this one one more time. Nice click around the corners. And one thing with the fit that I've noticed that I wanna stop and talk about right here is it's it almost feels like there's like a little bit of an air gap in between the case and the phone. Let's, let me see if you guys can hear this. You can kind of squeeze the sides of the phone and I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but if you can very faintly hear that it's like, it's almost like a little crunchy sound. So when you squeeze it in, it's got that very, you know, it feels like there's just a little air gap. Let me see if you guys can hear that. If you guys can hear that, that's me sitting there going like this. Now I don't have a single one of my other cases that do that. So that's definitely some sort of 
a design error on this case. I don't know if that's all that shock absorption material or what, but I'd really like for that to get improved right there because it definitely feels like it's a little bit loose. Now, it doesn't have any give because it is like a hard plasticky material. It doesn't really have any give around the sides anywhere, not even around the buttons, which is somewhere where you usually get. Let's check the bottom here. Yeah, pretty nice fit on here, like I said, but for some reason it just sounds like there's like an air gap or something like that in there. Now let's step around the sides of the case. Now on the top, it is completely closed. On the left-hand side, you do have your action button, your volume up and down buttons. On the bottom hand side, you have your accurate microphone and speaker cutouts with that nice wide open USB-C port. And let's try a cable in there and see how that looks. So we do have a cable and got a nice little bit of space around there. So your wider head cables will fit in there just fine. And on the right hand side, it is completely closed except for your power button. Now let's take a listen to how those buttons sound real quick. Nice buttons, very nice clicky buttons on here. They are this sort of plasticky material that does match the corners of the case. And I really like the little nice touches of that. So how does this case feel in the hand? Now, besides the fact that you can, you know, squeeze it in kind of around there, you it's a little bit slippery. So I've, I've been using this case for about a day, day and a half now. And no matter what, if your hands are dry or not dry, this case is pretty slippery. Now, I know with the Spec Presidio grip, you've got all that grip going around the sides and you don't have to worry about anything with that case, but it's definitely a little bit slippery with this case. So that is something that I would definitely have to note. And if I was you, you know, I would definitely use, and I have been using a MagSafe pop socket actually with this, just because of how slippery this case kind of is. It's got a very smooth texture, but unfortunately smooth texture means that it is going to be a little bit slippery. And I can definitely expect this case to come out of your pockets if you're wearing like sweatpants or basketball shorts, anything like that, and you sit down in your car or on the couch, this is probably going to slide out of your pocket. So that's definitely something to note. So let's go ahead and move on to our MagSafe test, and then we'll check out the click lock mechanism. So first, let's start off with regular MagSafe. We do have our Apple MagSafe wallet here. We'll attach that. There's our MagSafe animation. Let me turn my volume on. I'll give that one more time so we can get the sound. Nice MagSafe animation right there. And this is one of those cases that this material is going to kind of slide around on. Now, I got a little bit of a lock on there, so it holds it for a second. But if you guys can see, it pretty quickly starts sliding after that. So that is definitely something to note with this case. You're going to want to use that click lock mechanism. Now, moving along to the Apple MagSafe battery pack. But besides that, you know, the MagSafe connection is actually pretty strong. It's just that, you know, material on there. So moving this around, this has that silicone base to it right there. So it's not going to move around nearly as much as the Apple MagSafe wallet would. But you can definitely sit here, slide this around, give it a nice little shake, and it's not going to come off. Now, a lot of accessories may start to slide around because of you know, the smooth texture on the case. And that's where this click lock mechanism comes in. And that's where I want to pivot and take it to their wallet. So this is the spec click lock wallet. As you can see right there, it does have that mechanism, the click lock. So what we're going to do is just attach that to there. And if you hear that click, you can even hear me wiggling it. That click is that little piece on the back of the wallet clicking into the case itself. So that prevents any kind of sliding from the bottom. So they have the wallet, they have the phone holder, and they have the grip as well. So you can sit there and, you know, move this around. And in order for it to come off, you just do have to pull it off. But that's a nice little touch that I really like with this case. And I've actually been using this wallet. I don't have any of my information in there. But what we can do is we can take this little thing and just slide it right up in there and you have your, you know, one little card in there, whatever. So you can sit here and if you click it on like this, it'll still work, but you wanna, you know, fish it around there a little bit and wiggle it and you'll definitely feel and hear the click of that click lock. So I'm gonna just actually let you guys listen to that. If you heard that little click, that's what it was. So let's try that one more time and I'll put it up to the microphone so you guys can hear it. There you go. So it's on there. And these accessories are really nice, especially because this case is not very rigid around the back or anything like that. So that'll prevent any sort of slippage. You can sit here and kind of pull your information out, pull your card out, 
whatever you need to get. It's a little bit difficult actually for me to get it out, I guess, because it's so new and this is just a paper card. But either way, you can, you know, pull out your information out of there, use the wallet exactly how you need to. And when you're done with it, just pull it off and set it to the side. So do I recommend this case? Now the price on this is $49.95. Sometimes you can find it on a little bit of a sale, but the price is $49.95. I don't think I can recommend this specific one just because of how slippery this texture is. And also just that crunch of that kind of, you know, loose sound. I don't know. Now I'm sure the Spec Presidio grip may be a little bit better, but this one, I, I can't, I can't recommend it for 50 bucks. I mean, you can find cases that are 10, 15, $20 cheaper with the same level of protection or almost the same level of protection. And you'll get a much tighter fit on there. Now the fit is, let me rephrase, the fit is tight on here. However, you, I get that, that just crunch right there really kind of bothers me. And that's something that I'm not a fan of. I definitely noticed it while using this case, just, you know, on my everyday, whatever I'm doing on my phone, I noticed that, especially when I switch hands or grab it to put it in my pocket, you can feel it and you can hear it. So that's something I really don't like about it. But if you guys over at Spec can fix that and maybe give this just a little bit of a better texture or a little bit of a grip in the design that way, and you know, especially around the sides, they're very slippery. I think that if you guys did those few things, it would be a great case. So like I said, this is the Spec Presidio 2 Pro for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.